A New Year's fundraiser is being held by the local Ethiopian community in East Vancouver ended abruptly early this morning when someone pulled out a gun. Police say a dispute between two groups of partygoers led to a shooting, sending two men, two men to hospital with bullet wounds. Jennifer Palmer reports. It was meant to be a fun party. 100 people celebrating the upcoming New Year and helping to raise money for BC's Ethiopian community initiatives. Instead, gunplay marred the celebrations. Upon arrival, our units uh, located two victims who had received uh, uh, gunshot injuries to the lower body. Uh, they were taken to hospital. Their injuries are non-life-threatening. 129, that's when the first shot went up, and I looked at the, I looked at the clock, my clock, and then um, shortly after, just one shot, and then about 10 seconds later, another shot, and then probably about, like that about 30 seconds later, probably about five, boom, 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 boom. And then um, I, I came out here, and he was already here. I peeked out the window, and... You can hear people commotion, and then next thing you know, there was a white, uh, like a GMC truck with tinted windows just screeched out of, out of that driveway. <laughs> Police tape is cordoning off the parking lot where the shooting took place. Witnesses say three men were seen on the ground of the lot. Two were injured, the other only slightly. Members of the Ethiopian community confirm knowing of the male victims who are in their 20s. We were really confused because, you know, we didn't expect this type of thing to happen there. And for the people who were there, it's, it was really shocking because we are not this type of people. We are really, you know, uh, respectful. It didn't really sound like it was a real gun. And I asked the guy out here and he said that it was like blanks or something. But I came out here and I heard a lady over there. She's calling for an ambulance and saying someone got shot. And I went back to the window and there's a guy laying on the ground underneath the car with like, I don't know, he was, he was bleeding. And it turns out there was like two or three people that got shot. Some neighbors add they're used to loud parties at the Polish community center, but they're surprised this happened. As for the Ethiopian community, members can't believe the shooting took place. It was a shock for us, you know, especially for my children. Don't want to show them such a type of. And our community is really very well. Decent people were being here, but unfortunately, you know, it happens, it happens. A bus was brought in for witnesses to stay warm. Police are interviewing them and trying to piece together a description of the suspects. Officers now tell Global News one of the two male victims has been released from hospital.